What's up, y'all? Uh, my phone's doing trippy shit, so I'm not sure how well this is uh, recording as far as the clarity and smoothness of the video. But we will trudge on as we usually do. So, uh, what I'm uh, going to show you today is, as usual, some depressing shit. So, I went out the other night uh, to purchase a paintball marker as well as some other shit. And the paintball marker was super overpriced, and then it turns out the one they ordered or were bringing in for me or whatever got sold like that day or something to someone else, which is, for a person like me who has zero patience, very frustrating, especially like waiting and waiting and waiting. Anyway, so I went to buy another one, and it turns out after tax that one was like $80 more than it should be. So I was like, yeah, no. Anyway, the thing they did have a semi-reasonable price on, and I needed and wanted that night, was a remote line. It's called, it's the Petrol Remote Side Check for $49.99, which is a crazy bad price, but I paid it nonetheless. Here's the receipt. Yeah. So for, we have two tubes of First Strike. One of them is right here. And the Remote Side Check Petrol, right there. The, uh... Now, this portion of it, for the most part, worked pretty good. I took it out and uh, looked at it, and it looked like it worked pretty good. And then, I put it on my CO2, and all of a sudden, I was like, oh, okay, wicked, this thing's fucking great, man. Yeah, cool. Right here, and just, just let, me, let me see here. Let's see if I can do it with my lefty. The old lefty. Yeah, see, it's, it's good and everything, but then... After I tightened it down, and I mean, I don't go crazy, but I tightened it down on my tank and then opened the valve, uh, this happened. Whoop. And I was like, oh, shit. And I looked, and sure enough, there's a flat, and there's like a point for the actual... Oh, sorry, that, that was my hideous hand. Um, there's a point, there's a flat, and then there's a point where the pin should go in. And of course, there's the ever-popular Allen key. Now, the problem with it is, I think the Allen key's like effed on the inside or something. Uh, because what's happened is, uh, it, no matter what, I've tightened it down to its threshold and it won't stay on. As you saw, I just popped it off and it, that right now is tightened down to its threshold based on the Allen key I put in and tightened it down. I took the screw completely out, looked for debris on the inside, there was nothing, and it goes seemingly not all the way in. Anyway, so that was the first kind of point where I was like, ooh. And then I thought about it and I was like, well, maybe this is a decent feature. Maybe I would want to have this loose anyway. Because this takes up in the bag I put it in. I don't put it in a holster. I put it in a bag. Um, the whole the whole mechanism goes into like a, a side carry bag that it, for me is just a lot more comfortable than one of those hip holster things. None of them fit me properly anyway. I got a very thin waist. Anyway, um, so I was thinking, oh, this maybe is a good feature because I'm gonna just turn it on and leave it in the bag, right? And this thing is a much bigger form factor than this little knob. Whereas this also jarring around in the bag might may be loosened, and so this certainly won't. There's no friction hold there. My fingers won't get hold on it, nothing. So I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to let this slide. Even though I just bought a really overpriced, you know, fucking $50 remote line that isn't even, like, Kevlar braided. It's just your regular ass. It's not braided on the inside. It's nylon both ways. Anyway, that's fine. So I'm like, all right. And I mean, this, this... Uh, flush mount right here is very nice. It's very well machined. I've got it screwed into the uh, actual housing, of course. The way they, I had it put back the way they had it in the bag, which is good. It protects both the reddings. Um, I wish they had a little stopper in this, or maybe something covering the whole slide mechanism, because uh, otherwise, even in the bag, there's going to be dust in here, which I, I blew out, but it's fine. Um, it's a single O-ring, which is okay. They I easily, you know, it could have been a double O-ring, but it isn't. And on the inside here, there's no O-ring, but uh, of course that's really up to the point where it could cause issue, I imagine, holding on to the uh, cylinder itself. So I put it in the cylinder, put it in the uh, nine ounce that I just had filled at the place I purchased this piece of equipment. Excuse me, my coffee is uh, making me belch. Anyway, so this happened pretty much about two shots in. I literally put it on, and shot two out into the air, out into the construction site off my balcony. And uh, it, it was good. I mean, it felt great. It was good response from the CO2 and then pop. And it was freaky because 
this was wrapped around my side and it was wrapped around my left side and I recently uh, broke a few ribs and the, the three that are broken of the five are on my left side and it's kind of ugly. But anyway, uh, it's unrelated. But it, the way it popped, it was just like, it caused friction in my shirt. And as you can see, it's um, the braiding on the inside, the nylon braid on the inside has expanded to the point where it's actually left kind of like a snakeskin pattern on the actual, usually very smooth, as you can see here, I'll just bring it into the light. This, this right here, that's from the inside tube expanding unnaturally, which means there's a fault somewhere in it. Again, there's, there's no way this is me because I connected it all properly. Uh, I pressure tested it first, then put it on, pressure tested it, fi fired it twice. They were not dry fires, which sometimes dry, a dry fire, especially on a new hose or what have you, can overpressurize things. Uh, it, it, these were fired with a the uh, what's what's it called uh, tournament fuckers from Canadian Tire. These guys, the uh, orange guys, they're nice balls. I like them. I like using them. Haven't had one break yet. Anyway, um, so very depressing to have this line literally just burst on me after two shots. Uh, I kind of. I'd never heard of petrol before, and I knew based on the fact that things were overpriced, and especially the kid that sold it to me, um, he didn't even look like he really, you know, paintballed very often, and I'm not worried about people who paintball or not, because I'm not really a paintballer myself. I play with these things because playing with guns gets you in a lot of shit, so playing with paintball guns gets you in some seriously less shit. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm going to have to take this back, which sucks even more, because I wanted to just chill this weekend and fuck around with this. Because, like I said, I've got a construction site that's completely abandoned beside my place where there's nobody ever, and you can go in there and just fuck around. And I've never caught shit for it, never hurt anybody, so I, I wanted to do that, just, you know, test out the uh, the tracer. And I'm not going to get to, I'm going to have to take this back tonight. And then also, here, here's here's what really fucking blew my mind. So I... I I, I suspended my, like, anger and everything, which is rare for me. Usually I just lose my shit about something like this. I, I was like, okay, that's fine. It's early in the morning. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to, you know, hit a couple of bongs and just relax. And so I was like, well, whatever. I'll just fire some Tiberius rounds. Those are always really rewarding and make me feel like I'm a really good shot because they always fly super straight and everything. And so I reached in for one of the two tubes that I just bought, the eight round tubes of First Strike Ammunition. And uh, I've already bought a couple of tubes from them, didn't have a problem, they were all good. And now, the one thing is, the one guy that works there is super awesome, great guy, always checks everything. The few things I've bought from them for paintball, he's always taking a good look at it first, made sure he's selling me the ones that aren't fucked up or anything, especially with rounds, like, Tiberius rounds. You don't want them to be broken or leaking or fucked up or sitting in their own juices because they biodegrade rather quickly and they're a precision ammunition. They're not a regular paintball. These things are comp they're, they're a completely different game. Uh, and in fact, the place where I was playing, Action 500, disallowed these on their playing field as of about a week ago because they are rather dangerous at close quarters. Uh, so, I went to open it and look at this. See that cloudiness? That's not from one of the rounds. That's just straight cloudiness. That's with one of the rounds in it. That's without the round there. That cloudiness is the actual physical paint. The paint inside a first strike round is white, or kind of an off creamy white. Um, so one of them inside the tube is broken and leaking, and he sold me this. Obviously, I didn't do this, because I haven't even opened it. I just looked at it and was like, oh, fuck. So that's uh, right there. You know, I think they're about eight bucks, nine bucks. And then 50 bucks. So we're looking at like 60, 65 bucks. Well, I mean, here, short, short of the one tube, which really I should just return that fucking thing to, uh, I've spent essentially like 77, 85. So let's say I've spent like just over like 65 bucks without the other cylinder of these rounds included. It's pretty frustrating. Uh, I mean, like, this doesn't even go into the fact that, like, and this is just a personal gripe as opposed to a business gripe, but like, the people there, specifically the kid that sold me this stuff, he stood, he made me stand there for about 35 minutes. Literally, I, I paid attention to the time just because I was kind of already pissed off. 35 minutes standing there with no one else in the place except some kid who clearly was, like, geared up to go paintball and was missing his calls to go on to his rounds. And, and 
he was fiddling around with like uh, speedball paint guns that were like you know six, seven, eight hundred dollars. This kid probably got fucking fifty bucks from his mom to come play. I highly doubt he's gonna spend like you know nine hundred dollars on a goddamn paintball marker. Whereas I might, as I have that kind of currency at my disposal, but I certainly won't ever. You know, I'm not gonna. This is ridiculous. This shit's going back. I was gonna buy um, one of the new tra- one of the new tracers from him. That's not happening. Uh, originally, before I looked at the uh, prices online, I was going to buy a fucking uh, T8.1 from them. Forget that shit. Like, it's retarded. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm putting this on the internet, and you guys will have to deal with the blowback from it, because I do know a number of people, and I will be sending this to Hustle Paintball, because they've never done me wrong. Uh, Hustle Paintball, all the time. Any of your paintball needs, go online. Don't go to a shop. Go to hustlepaintball.com, and they will hook your shit up unbelievably well. They are professionals. The gentlemen that handle your shit and uh, otherwise, you know, deal with the processing and and if there are any females involved, the females, males and females combined, the people resulting are a pleasure to deal with. So don't ha- put up with this kind of shit. People who stupid fucking 20-something douchebag neckbeards that sell you garbage saying, oh, never had a problem. This is super good stuff. Don't even check the cylinder for broken fucking... This is eight, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds, essentially a dollar a round, and he doesn't even check for broken ones. Okay, in a bag of a thousand or two thousand or, you know, even fucking five hundred balls, one, two, three broken, I'm not even going to fucking complain. Who gives a shit? That's a mess to clean up and maybe you lose like ten or twenty balls or whatever. Who cares? This is fucking serious shit. This is, this bothers me. And then this... This is just a safety hazard. So the fact that they're even selling this product, and this bl- this is the blowout that happens literally minutes. Not even an hour or two, minutes, in an air-conditioned fucking house, totally climate-controlled, and it's been fired twice, no dry fires, you know, set up and primed by someone who knows what they're doing, not a 12-year-old child. No offense to all the tw- 12-year-old kids that know what they're doing. And this is this is what it ends up costing me, you know? Basically, before tax, the sixty-seven seventy-one. That's basically what it's cost me right there. If you don't include the one Tiberius cylinder of eight that actually is functional, I actually I know it's functional. I, maybe who knows? Maybe it, it's going to leak too. Anyway, we'll find out, right? So, uh, headaches, headaches, headaches. It seems. Anyway, um, I guess I'm going back this afternoon, and I'm going to have to take this stuff back and. Hopefully I will be really, 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 really relaxed and just in a good mood and they will handle me professionally because I have yet to deal with a situation in this place that's been handled professionally outside of the two encounters I've had with their management. And the one time with the management, unfortunately, uh, the one manager did handle things rather sloppily. I'm I'm a cancer patient and I do use marijuana medicinally. And he came and lost his shit on me because they know I smoke pot and he perceived that I had gone out and smoked marijuana near the building and he smelled it. It turns out, in fact, it was young guys that had done it as opposed to me, but it's humorous nonetheless. So uh, I hope I don't have to deal with him a second time, but I will be calling and making a, having a meeting with one of their managers. So I'm signing off for now so I can go and uh, use some marijuana medicinally and calm myself down and, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll get back at you. Peace.